I'm gonna show you how to create this super simple everyday look with minimal product and a tinted moisturizer. I cannot wait to show you this new coverage that I've been doing using. So if you are, you know, looking for something that's a little more lightweight, more of like a tinted moisturizer, multi-mineral, has skincare benefits, not quite as heavy or, you know, all full coverage for summer, that's what I'm trying to get at. You're going to love this. So you still always want to start with your primer, right? We just do. This specific primer is going to minimize the appearance of your pores and it's going to keep your makeup from sliding into any fine lines, wrinkles. Um, it's just really, really, and it feels like silk. If you've never, ever tried this, I'm telling you, it's a Smashbox dupe. That's exactly what it feels like, um, but for less than half the price, okay? <laughs> I think we can all appreciate um, good, high quality with a lower price tag. Okay, so what I've been doing, all right, you've got a couple options here. You can use one or the other. I'm using both. So let's try to get some of this hair out of the way. Hold, please. Okay, what we're gonna do is go in with a very, very, very light coverage of a beauty balm. This is a beautiful tinted moisturizer. And I'm just gonna put some on my skin like this with my fingers, but watch this, okay? You can see I've got freckles, all right? there I'll do a swipe up here okay now I'm gonna go in I always shake mine up just have it I guess and now I'm gonna go in with a color correcting this is multi mineral as well both of these have skincare benefits in them so listen the only skincare product I have on my face right now aside from these tinted moisturizers is my dry oil elixir it has 15 different essential oils in it Normally, I would put on a moisturizer as well, but I figured I'm not going to today just because I'm using two <laughs> of these liquid tinted moisturizers that already have skincare built in them. So I'm going to try it without. All right. Now I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge. I know right now it looks fabulous, right? <laughs> and I'm going to dab it out. Okay, so the purpose of dabbing it out like this on my skin versus pushing it and pulling it across is to keep all of my product in one place. So now I have just enough coverage. Okay, so what I'm using now is a hydrating concealer. This has an Indian seed plant extract that's going to lock in moisture in return plumping up your skin. And then I just use the little pointed part of my beauty sponge and dab that out too. I'm not doing any pressing and pulling because that's gonna pull all of your product that you just put down away. And I don't want any of it to be moved. I'm just simply blending. That's all that we wanna do with that. And then I'm always going to do my brows because I think that that's a must. I use a brow mascara. It's very inexpensive, it's, uh, $13. <laughs> and which I think is pretty crazy, but watch how well this works. Obviously, a lot of product does come out on the wand. I do not need that much product. So I like to spend a little time just quickly scraping all that off because I don't I don't need much and it just doesn't take much. This is very pigment. I start at the middle of my brow and I'm using a light hand, okay? I'm not pressing hard and pulling. I'm going in very light-handedly just so this pigment can catch on to my brows. And then I'll go back to the beginning of my brow and pull it through that way. And if you don't know, if you're new here, I am a homeschool mom. So <laughs> that's why you hear children, if you can hear them. That's how much of a difference brows make. So maybe you're like, no, I don't need to do my brows. Yes, you do. It's so easy. You saw how easy I did that. And I should have enough product on my wand that I'm not even going to dip back in. And voila.
super, super easy. <laughs> this is obviously just one eye of mascara, but I am using two products right now. I'm using a lash primer that keeps your lashes very soft. It nourishes them. And the best part, it helps them grow. It has Capixel in it. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's also on my website. And then this mascara. This is the 3D effect. I have a few different that I use. My absolute favorite is the Double Lash Extend. But I do like to switch it up a little every now and then just to show you guys how great a different variety of our mascaras are and different price points, right? Not everyone has the same budget and the same expectations, whatnot. So my favorite one is $22.90. This one right here. So I want to say $13, $13 or $14. It's a lot more inexpensive. Okay, eyes are done, and we're going to do also a very, very simple lip duo. You don't have to do both of these, but I'm going to, obviously, just using the gloss would make it even, you know, more natural, but I love the look of this, so I'm going to use Lip Liner 227, which can look intimidating because it's dark brown, but watch this. I'm just going to do kind of a thin line. Okay. And now use my finger just to blend it out a little. Now the best part. These are my absolute favorite glosses. At first I wasn't sure what I would think about them because it does have some sparkle in here, but as you can see, like it's pretty subtle. And the reason that I love it so much is that it does not get sticky. How many of us have put on a gloss and we're at first and we're like, oh, you know, it feels nice. It's soft. It's not bad. And then as the day goes on or maybe a few minutes or an hour, you're like, oh, this is really sticky. This doesn't get sticky. And these are limited edition. There's a gold one like this, which obviously is very subtle. There's a clear one and then a copper one. Um, the copper one's probably my least favorite just because I like a more subtle look. But all right, I've got to go.